A few people have asked me to show the inside of our trailer. It's a uh, Ventrist Runaway, just to see what we've done to ours. So, it's a little messy. So this is what we did. We've got, um, Harold added the lights, the rope lights around, and then he um, added like a little pocket so he can put his phone charger and his phone in there in the evening. And then underneath the bed, we have um, different totes that we have we've put under the bed. Like I have all my kitchen supply stuff right here. I've got two two bins. I have the porta potty and the um, my um, pop up there. And at the other end is just various stuff like our lights that we hang outside. Um, just miscellaneous stuff and also I have um, extra sheets and a blanket under there and then over here we have a place for Azizi to sleep our dog and then we added two of our um, containers that we put our clothes in and then we have our refrigerator and then over there is all of Harold's stuff, our um, battery, things of that nature. And then at the top, I have just various stuff like I have phone chargers and cards, Azizi stuff, um, lighter, koozies stickers, things like that. And then we have a little top shelf that we put our Kleenex on at the end of the night. We have a little heater, which works wonderful. So this is kind of just very basic. No thrills or frills, just very, very basic. And that's how we like it. Okay, so here we have a outdoor thermometer. So we just have it velcroed onto the side. So when it is not in use, we put it up here. And then across the room, let me see if I can get the light on. We have the thermometer. So it shows the indoor and outdoor temp. And we're pretty much always at least 10 degrees warmer inside than outside in the winter in the winter yes so right now it's the same which is 63 which is nice and cool hey friends so externally we've mounted this tongue box to the front of our trailer which uh, basically we put all our leveling stuff extra hoses just extra stuff down inside uh, jacks stands things like that and we got two floor rugs which we fold up and just strap on top of here they're waterproof um, I changed our jack out because it's the V series trailer and it's taller so I put a heavier jack that goes a little higher and we've got the batwing on in came with our trailer and that is a solar powered uh, lights that we hang up around the awning and they come on automatically at night and go off and during the daytime they charge back up to run again um, I put a spare tire rack on the back we'll show you how that works in just a minute <coughs> um, and I've got this light that I put on a bar that we can move anywhere we want under the awning which provides great light for cooking at night, but doesn't attract the bugs. So we carry two propane tanks with us. One that I mounted to the side of the toolbox here, and then one right there we carry a crate. That way we can move that one wherever we set our kitchen up. Uh, it goes with it. This one is a spare, or we also use it to feed 
our propane fire pit when we're places we can't have a true fire and we bought this little step to help us step into the camper a little easier um, I bought those 24 inch RV scissor jacks for the front so I take weight off the tongue um, and I bought the 24 inch because the Ventures has these big tires on it which uh, gives us more height it comes with these stabilizer jacks right here on the back and I just put that little jack underneath it so we don't have to you know if we get in places that are too tall we can set it up without any trouble all right so we have the back door on our Ventress added and Harold added the um, tire rack so we have to swing that open And then part of our modification, he built a drawer. I believe it what two two hundred and fifty pound. Yeah, I think they're two fifty. Yeah. So, so go ahead. This is our griddle, which sits right here. This is a case for our uh, gas fire pit. My coma stove sits right here, neatly, right there, and then the fire pit will sit on top of it. Still have to put that in a bag. And then my gas lines for the stove lay right here. The gas lines for the fire pit are on the fire pit itself, and the gas lines for the griddle are kept in here. And this feeds from the propane tank, goes to this white splitter. One side goes to the Coleman stove, and the other side is going to go for the griddle. And that's pretty much how it is. And when we're done, we just slide it all back up in there. It locks into place, close the door, out of sight, out of mind, until we get ready to camp. I hope you enjoyed. If you like our content, hit the like button, subscribe, and then click that bell to get notifications of new videos.